Hi, thank you so much for listening to my podcast. I really appreciate that. This is episode 17. And this episode is going to discuss other people's stuff, okay? Other people's stuff, our stuff, and moods, okay? Sometimes we're on the receiving end of other people's bad moods. In previous podcasts, I have discussed portals on how negative energies can enter a person's life. I've discussed uh, negative karma. I've discussed jealousy. There are actually people out there in the world, believe it or not, that go out and actually uh, do santeria, witchcraft, curses, things of that nature that does happen, as unbelievable as that may sound to some people, that is, in fact, another portal. Uh, Sometimes, and I've said this, I think, in the last podcast that I did, there's the self-critic. Sometimes we are responsible for our own bad luck or bad energy, uh, whichever way you want to say it, you know, that's what it comes down to. So now we're going to talk about another portal of how negative energy can reach us. And sometimes it can reach us from other people, family, friends, partners, uh, spouse, significant others, co-workers, and You know, people have a tendency when they're in a bad mood to project their bad stuff onto other people. Did you ever notice that, you know, you can just look at a person and tell that they are in fact in a bad mood? And then when they start speaking to you, or if you initiate conversation, they kind of project that onto you, okay? Their their, uh, dialogue sounds uh, judging, condescending, critical and kind of rejects you okay it feels like rejection or they come out with this slew of uh, uh, bad uh, bad vibes and you can sometimes just feel it and sometimes when they even simply walk in the room it's like you know some people can walk in the room and lighten up the room and some people can walk in the room that are in a bad mood and bring kind of like a darkness okay So words have power and words have energy. And when people have negative energy around them, they can, it is contagious and it can come on to you. Uh, But having awareness of what's happening is very helpful because if you're aware that that is what is in fact happening, then that kind of puts you in, a, in a, bit, a bit of a position of power, okay? Because if you can recognize that the person that is speaking to you negatively or, or dealing with you negatively or even in their body language, if you observe their mood, you'll realize that they are projecting their negative stuff onto you. And it's not so much about you as it is them projecting how they feel about themselves and what they're going through onto you, okay? And sometimes we can just grab that like like as if they tossed a ball to us and we kind of keep it, okay, inside. And that actually starts to become a, a trigger in us for our own negative self-talk and our own, you know, negative inner critic. So notice how when people are in a good mood, how positively they speak to us. Okay. When they're in a good place and they're in a good mood, they speak to us in a way that's encouraging, enlightening, uh, helpful, and uh, they kind of radiate a positive energy onto us. Now, Some people can be steadily in a bad mood for a really long period of time and hopefully they come to a place where they acknowledge that uh, and they do something to go out and seek help with it. But, you know, a lot of people don't. And sometimes, like I said, or a lot of times we're on the receiving end of all of that. But knowing what's going on can be so helpful to us. And sometimes, you know, 
us too, you know, we do it too. If we're in a good mood, everything looks good. People look wonderful. The world looks like a great place. And we can be encouraging, inspiring, and, and helpful to others too. But we're in a bad, when we're in a bad mood, we kind of fall into the same sort of thing. So, you know, like it says in the Bible, judge not lest ye be judged. <laughs> we do that too. But like I said, awareness, bad moods come and go. Okay. But when we speak to others in a negative way like that, sometimes it, it sticks with them. Okay. And they carry it. And sometimes people do that to us and it sticks with us and we carry it. So I'm encouraging you to recognize that so that you can be able to overcome that. Um, and I have a, a, a belief and a lot of people believe that becoming more spiritually connected and I believe that it's important to believe in order to receive that we have the ability to change uh, a lot of negative stuff that's happening in our lives. It's really important for us to be in a good place, okay? And when we can get a grip on ourselves and to be in a good place, um, the world kind of responds to us. So the target goal here is we can't be, you know, happy-go-lucky and feeling great all the time. You know, th that feeling is reserved for special occasions, okay? And we can't always feel really bad and horrible all the time. For lack of a better word, that is also saved for special occasions. The target goal here on the mood is to be okay. So, and you are okay. You are okay. If you can be sitting here listening to this episode 17 and uh, listening here to what I have to say, you are okay. And there's a lot of stuff in your life that can be fixed. The reason that I advise people to have a psychic reading done is sometimes we are so close to our own situation that it's hard for us to see what's what. And by having a psychic reading done and, of course, coming in to see me, I will be able to, you know, tell you what's what so you can be able to have... Uh, some power over your situation, some knowledge as far as what it is that's happening in your life so you can be able to be in a position to do something about it. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I wish you all the best of luck. And remember, uh, other people's stuff can affect you. Your stuff affects others and so on. So thank you so much.